Okay, now that I've gotten that out of the way with my little food dilemma, it's time to start on Revenge of Meta Knight. Save Dreamland, defeat Meta Knight and his giant warship Halberd. Revenge of Meta Knight. This is also one of my favorite games, and here's the intro. Reactor 1 output normal. Adjust the balancer to 0003. Let's raise the anchor. Check anti-gravity plant. One, two, three. Okay. Release the sail. Solar level 288. The time has come. The time to show our power. Dreamland's lazy lifestyle will end. I will rule. That's basically the premise. Meta Knight is preparing to attack Dreamland with his new ship, the Halberd. It's time to begin. Oops, I pushed the back button, my bad. Anyway, here we go. Gubby's here! He's heading towards us! Oh my gosh! What are we gonna do? He'll get in the way! Get rid of him! Sir Meta Knight, what shall we do? Soldiers near the deck, assume combat mode! Yeah, this game has a score, but it also has a time limit. You have to complete certain stages within a certain amount of time. Because once it reaches zero, boom, you're out. We are going to suck in Yo-Yo. Kirby's in the rocket valve. Release Heavy Lobster, quickly, quickly! Kirby's behind the nozzle! Fix him! Prepare to take off! Blow Kirby away! Okay, main engine ignition! Take off! You're not supposed to actually win this boss battle, I've never seen anyone actually try and beat it, unfortunately. But anyway, the Hellbird takes off when we are blown out to the ocean. Kirby's been blown to the ocean! That sure was close. I'll conquer Dreamland with the Halberd. Our first target, Creep Garden. Now we've got to find a way to get back onto the ship. I think I'll stick with Yo-Yo for the most part. Unless, of course, I need to switch abilities. But yeah, you can see the Halberd moving in the background, basically. Now we need to try and uh, find a way to get back up to it. This right here, Revenge of Meta Knight, is one of my favorite games because it really pushes you to the limit as you're trying to dash across the clock to try and get back to the Halberd and complete certain stages. And I'm already about to die. First things first, let's make our hero. We're gonna make Jim, and I'll suck in the fighter ability. Watch out. Really, really, really need some recovery items. There we go. And some for Gem 2. I really wish I had more commentary right now, you guys, but I unfortunately don't have anything prepared. But basically, I'm just trying to play through the game and dash my way to the exit. Now we got an auto scrolling stage. First, we gotta swim through here and then make our way to the exit. Gym, and we make our way up. Thank <laughs> you. 
go through the door before we get smashed. And okay. And there's some for Gem. And we step on through. No need to get any new power-ups. Our first boss for this next part right here is... Wispy Woods! It's basically a redone fight of Wispy Woods from the beginning of Spring Breeze, basically. I'm only doing this once, helper. And with that, we're done with Wispy Woods, but we're not done yet, as we must now take on two Wispy Woods. We can't suck up any of the little sap it shoots out at us. And you know what? I'm sorry, but fighter, I'm gonna have to take you back. Now at this point, Wispy Woods are gonna start spinning around and around and around and around and around, and they're gonna shoot down worms and apples and all sorts of other stuff. And it'll detach in segments. But anyway, we're done. Back onto the Warp Star. Kirby's flying back towards us! Main cannon's ready. Shall we blast him? Alright, shoot up! They're not gonna let us get back on that easily. We got him! He fell into the forest! Good! He'll never catch up! Are you sure? But now we've been blown into the forest of all things. I think I'm gonna throw away fighter when I get a chance. Yeah. And here we have a Maxim Tomato and a Cannon. Dodge that, and climb back out. Nothing over there, so we're just gonna go for it this way. Great commentary, huh, ladies and gentlemen? I got nothing prepared. Let the fighter become chilly, and we'll take Mike 3. Two bonkers. Mike 1. Mike 2. Boom! And we take Hammer. Hey, Chili, come on! What are you waiting for? Come on! It appears that my helper is stuck. Are you kidding me? Chili, come on! What the hell? Oh my god, my helper is stuck! Fuck. What the hell? Uh, I can't throw off my cap and give it to him, unfortunately, either. He's just stuck. Oh my god, am I gonna have to have a timeout in order to stop this? This is ridiculous! Uh, I don't know what to do. He sucked up the other bonkers and now he can't spit him out. Oh my goodness. That's the problem with having a CPU-controlled AI. Sometimes they attack and do good, and sometimes they just... Oh god. Uh... Ooh. I'm not gonna take a, a game over for this. Uh, let me pause and I will be right back, you guys. Seriously. Wow. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. I don't know what the hell happened. My AI partner just froze and couldn't think of what to do. That's messed up when you think about it, ladies and gentlemen. That's one thing I don't like about the AI CPU controlled partners in this game. They do so good sometimes, but at the same time, they can mess up so badly. 
somebody. Like that, for instance, and sometimes they just get themselves killed. I prefer playing two-player mode more than anything, because that was just downright tragic. And I'm gonna have to turn my bonkers into a wheelie, because I'm gonna need them in the next part. But what I am going to do right now is... I'm gonna come back over here, and then I'm going to get me a... Uh, Biospark. The ninja ability. With the wheelie ability like I demonstrated last time in one episode, I think. Uh, you basically turn into, uh... The... Uh, wheelie rider. You can ride at super speeds. I'm gonna need him right now, so here we go! As we just dashed the whole entire majority of the stage. Jump over the TNT crate, don't destroy it, otherwise you expose the rocky floor- the fiery, ashy floor below. There's the halberd in the distance, we're doing our best to catch up to it. Step on through. Now we need to launch ourselves into a cannon in order to get through, but I'm not gonna do that, so... We're not gonna use that first cannon, because that's a no-no. What I'm going to do is suck up this flaming Leo and get the fire ability. What you're supposed to do is ignite this cannon right here, jump into it. It's gonna fall over, but we're gonna blast off like a giant rocket. And there's Dynablade! Dynablade, think you can help us out?